everybody, welcome back. What took you so long? Well, I was brushing my hair. Thank you very much, Axel. How dare you? Um, hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. My name is Captain Splurdy. We are playing Animal Crossing. That's probably a big surprise for a lot of you who are unfamiliar with the Animal Crossing Every Day video series. Popular video series created by me. I created it. I was the only person who thought of it. Um, I was the only person stupid enough to do this. Did you let you be here? Did you dread the boredom of your wardrobe? Show off your originality with some one of a kind duds. Our sale begins at 13 o'clock on the 3rd of December. Ah. Uh, okay, thank you. We have a special offer to dinner setting Raven Pole. As always, we wipe ready with our as well. Why not stop by? Ah. Uh, okay. You're a little, uh, a little creepy there, Tom Nuke. What time is it? 17.58 on a Monday. Great. Time to game plan. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. What is this? Uh, I'm stealing this white golf bag. It's mine now. Now I can go play golf. What else do I need to play golf? Sticks? Golf sticks? Then I can play it. You hit the ball. Bam! That's the noise the ball makes when it hits your stick. Bam! You know. And all the people are like, wow, he hit the ball real hard. Bam! You know. You guys know. The Christmas tree is still up. Do I want a big one? Do I want a little one? I don't know. Do I want a dinky little tea set? Do I? Maybe I should get a little Christmas tree. Let's buy some stuff. So, I, um, I went to my doctor the other day. You have to go to your doctor a lot, I find. When you get older, you gotta go to your doctor. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can go to your doctor. And, um, he's like, you're good. But when you get older, that doesn't happen as often. When you get older, your doctor's like, you better come back next week because your arms might fall off. And then I have to say, not my arms. I need those. And then the doctor's like, well, that's why you gotta come back. So that your arms don't fall off. We'll stick them back on. We got this arm glue. You know, those doctors, it's a very technical business. I don't know what they call it, arm glue. They probably have a medical name for it. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to call it arm glue. Okay. Where am I? I want one more. No, I didn't say. I want the big Christmas tree. I'm definitely gonna put the small one in my house, but I want the big one as well. And I'll sell some of this crap back to him. Ah cha cha. So I went to the doctor. He's like, come back. He didn't say to me this time that um, I had to come back on my arms would fall off, but I did come back. Because you gotta get the check up, you know. If you don't get the check up, then you don't know what's wrong with you. Could be anything, could be nothing. You don't know. So I went back to check. And we were talking about beers, and I was like, You know, the problem with doctors is you're always like, You can't drink the beers. But I want to. I really want to drink all the beers, you know. I had a little shiver on my spine when I said that, so it came out like beers, you know. It's a normal, it's a normal problem that people have. Don't worry about it. And the doctor's like, of course you can drink the beers. Hi, Bob. Hello. The doctor was like, of course you can drink the beers. And I'm like, what? I can drink the beers? He's like, yeah, you can drink all the beers. Drink as many beers as you want. You know, and I'm like, oh, so it's good for me? Drinking all the beers is good for me. It's not going to cause any damage, any long-term significant damage to my 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 tum tum, my stomach, my intestines, my insides, my kidneys, my liver, all the others. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to do any bad things. And then he didn't say anything for a long time. The doctor was very quiet. And then I said, "Well, I'm going to take your silence." As 
um, as 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 a point of of authority that you that you mean that a hundred percent, you know. The fact that you haven't corrected yourself or corrected me means that yes, the statement is correct. I can drink all the beers and will not get physically sick. Bye! And then he left. You know. Hi, Mitzi. If it's clear when it's water, why does it turn white when it freezes and becomes snow? See what I'm getting at? Where does the color come from? So what can I do for you? I don't know, Mitzi. Like, nights like this make you want to drink something warm to drink. You want to try a cup of coffee. It really warms up your belly and makes you sleep better. You should try it sometime. Does coffee make you sleep better? I don't know if that's true, Mitzi. This game came out in 2002. I don't know if the coffee guidelines are correct. Should I go back to the doctor and say, hey, man. And he'll say, hey, back to me. <laughs> As they do. And I'm like, you give me that advice with the beers. Does that also work for coffee? Should I just drink all the coffee? And he's like, stop implicating me in malpractice, please. Stop trying to get me to say things. That will be... Oh, she's going to take my tree. Um, yeah, just take the tree. She can have the big one, I'll have the small one. You see, I'm such a generous friend to Gwen. She's always mean to me, but I'm so sweet. Look, see how mean she was? She was like, I stole your tree. She's a little Grinch character. Anyway, what other beverages would be bad to drink all the time? Paint is probably up there, yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't advise drinking paint all the time. I heard that Tom Nick is having a sale soon. I wonder what's going to be on sale. Sales are so exciting. You never know what you're going to find. I guarantee that you're going to find a lot of crap that Tom Nick couldn't sell at any other time of the year. Put me down for the correct answer right there. Right? I'm right. I'm absolutely right. He's going to just grab a load of stuff. All those raven totem poles he couldn't sell. Bring them out. Put them on sale. Who wants the Raven totem pole? Fifty percent off. And then someone's gonna see that and go, "Wow, fifty percent! That's a that's a good number of percent to not have to pay for this Raven totem pole." You know, I dug up an ivory piano. Well, it's a buy time. Hello. Looky here, it's you. It is me. You know. Um. Oh, him saying beef tofu reminded me about something. What else would be bad to drink all the time? Beef drippings. Right? Wouldn't that be disgusting? And really bad for your heart. If you just like, you got a koi or the beef from the koi and you like squeeze it. So there's like the lovely, delicious drippings that came off it. You know, you put that into a pint glass, drank the glass. Well, no, drink the beverage in the glass. You don't drink the glass. Let's not go nuts here. Let's keep a little bit of sensibility to proceedings. Yeah? Do you drink it? Do you want to bargain with some furniture? It's a sewing machine. Whatever. This is what I'm saying. How does Tom Nuke sell a uh, sewing machine for that much? He probably doesn't. But he just puts a deal on it. Oh, it's half price. Congratulations. I know you found a good place for it. I know the exact great place for this sewing machine. I cut to me throwing it into the sea. You know. Not that I would ever throw uh, a big item like that into the sea, because I respect the sea. Seawater. Don't drink lots of seawater, that will make you sick. Don't drink any seawater, it'll probably make you sick, you know. It's um it's it's deceptively delicious. It looks delicious. So you drink it and then you're like, it's not delicious. They lied. I like New Year's Eve better. It's a blast to count down to the New Year with all your friends. I'm sure it is. Uh, that sounds fun. Uh, if I could ever do that, I bet that would be a barrel of laughs. I'm unaware. I wouldn't know. But we'll move on. Um, I'll just cover this big shiny hole up. Ta-ta. You know. Um, is that everything? I don't see anybody else around. Pom Pom has mysteriously disappeared. Where's Pom at? Hello, have you seen Pom Pom? Well, that's another thing you shouldn't drink. 
just put pom pom in a glass. Try to drink her. She's a duck. Do not do. Snowy lights like this. The scenery turns pure white. On my head becomes as blank and empty as the snowy fields. Sometimes they're gonna stare for hours into that nothingness, not think a single thought. Well, how deep and wonderful and meaningful was that from our good friend Axel? He doesn't seem to be that smart, but when you talk to him, not so intelligent. Don't jump! Hey, Weaver. What's weaving? That's his catchphrase. Needs work. I think it's not perfect. It may not look like it, but I'm actually really good at badminton. Yeah, I get that. I see that. Yeah, well, absolutely. You're a f great at badminton. Yeah. I'm just happy to be able to tie my own shoes. Can you tie mine? I need, I need help tying my shoes. Come back here, you horse. What else can you not drink? Spiders? If you got a big pint glass of spiders, I would not advise drinking that. I think that would be bad. Well, it depends. If you like spiders, you might be able to get away with drinking a whole glass, but not for me. I don't think. Not for me. I couldn't do it. Anyway. Hi. That's it. We're gonna save. We're gonna quit. I think the episodes have got better as the year goes on, don't you think? <laughs> That's another classic in the bag. We're almost at the end of the year. Thank you very much for sticking with it, paying attention, and watching the videos. I really appreciate it. We're going to be back tomorrow for the final episode of the year at the end of I'm Crossing Every Day. As, wait, is it? 54, 365. Yeah, tomorrow's the last day. All right. That's awesome. We'll make it a big celebration. It'll be fun on the bun. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back in tomorrow. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.